Hello everybody, back again with another contract guide. This one is for the commanding intel mission. Specifically the kill a commander and extract with a weapons case objectives. One of the easiest ones, right? Absolutely. Who doesn't love trying to find and kill a commander? Especially doing it solo. But I'm going to show you a really cheesy way to do this. Um, very similar to the way I take down the chemist solo. Um, what you're going to really want to have is a good sniper rifle with a nice high powered scope. If it helps you may also want to bring a spotter scope with you but for a juggernaut in uh, the weapons case it's not really as necessary because you've still got pretty good sight lines unlike the chemist. And in this one we're pretty lucky. Uh, to have a firefight already going on. Looks like uh, there's already a team challenging the Juggernaut, so kind of makes it easier to find him. You just look for the weapons fire. Um, you'll notice I did climb up a nearby cell tower. Anytime you're going for one of these commanders, you want a high vantage point that gives you some protection, but also gives you great sight lines. So uh, when I got nearby, I looked for a cell tower that was within the range, found this one, climbed right up. Here you'll see, uh, looks like the operator that's challenging the Juggernaut. I uh, hate to do it to them, but I'm going to go ahead and help them on to their next quest a little bit faster. They are quite a ways off, so uh, forgive my terrible aim. Got a couple of shots in there on him, brought him down. The jug's going to hop up there and finish him off, it looks like. But that's good news for me, because not only does that mean that I know where the Juggernaut is now, it also means that he's going to be in a prime location. To take out here now that he's gotten up on top of the roof has taken out the uh the encroacher he's just gonna stand there because i'm so far away from him he's not gonna aggro on me and neither are any of his buddies nearby so for the next couple minutes unfortunately i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna put sniper rounds into the juggernaut it takes a little while Obviously, if I got a bit closer and I could get consistent headshots on him, that would be ideal and I'd take him down faster. But I planned ahead. I brought a sniper rifle that does good damage at long range, and I brought a munitions case. So I shouldn't have a problem re-upping re my ammunition if I run low. And we're just going to sit here and put rounds into him. If you were to try doing this with the chemist, the good news is... You can do this much simpler, and you only need uh, three headshots to take out a chemist. Sometimes two, if you're using a strong enough sniper rifle. Um, so this is a much, much, much better option to choose you know, to do this path than uh, for the chemist. Sorry, than it is for the juggernaut. But I need the weapons case. The juggernaut's the one with the weapons case. So here we are. If you guys are interested in seeing me do this with the chemist. Uh, Please put it in comments and let me know. I'd be happy to do that. I've done it a few times already. I soloed to get my M13B. I helped a few squads get their M13Bs. It's it's a really straightforward process, but as I mentioned before, if you're going to try and use this method with a chemist, you really, really need a spotter scope. I can't understate that enough. Um, the spotter scope gives you the variable zoom like a sniper rifle would, but it also gives you thermal imaging which makes it much easier to identify the chemist from a distance and target him. We've got a group of players going by here. I'm going to hold off for a second and let them pass because I don't want to draw attention and have to leave my nest. And back to it. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, yeah, the spotter scope helps you spot the chemist really fast, even through the haze and the fog. Uh, especially if you're going to set outside the hazmat zone, which I recommend trying, which I recommend doing if you're going to try that. And then you can just take him out at will. Um, he may respond, may not, uh, but once he's get it down, you can just rush, get the weapon, and leave. We got the juggernaut down. He's gone. My munitions case decided to fly right through the map, so I'm going to say forget it and move on. And we're going to glide right on over to get that weapons case. Uh, real easy combat there, no issues. And because I was so high up, I can just glide right over. We're going to hop right up on that trash can, hop up onto the roof, and move on. We gotta love that NPC spawn right next to me out of nowhere. It's uh, something Warzone's great for. And there's your weapons case. That's a uh, that's a fast, easy way to pick it up and move on. I'm gonna swap out my crappy pistol for this uh, sweet little battle rifle here, or assault rifle. And look, they even left me an LTV. Well, 
that's how to do it, folks. Now you just got to escape with your life. Good luck, because now that you've got that case, you're on everyone's radar.